Hello, my name is Mark. I work for Judo Payments. We're here at Apps World, and I'm about to do a demo of the iOS SDK and see how easy it is to integrate. Okay, um, so I'm just going to start by signing up for Judo. Um, then we can get our API keys and everything we need to access the uh, we need to access from the SDK. So I'm just going here into the Judo Pay website and clicking on the sign up button or get started button. And I will click submit and hopefully we should get an email welcoming us and with a with a temporary password. So there we go. This is the pass. There's a uh, temporary password. I'll just copy that, and we can log into the dashboard. And then create our password and accept terms and conditions. And then we are into the dashboard. Now, if we go to the developer section, get started, we are able to register an app on the on the Judo Pay system. So I'll just call it my funky app, and add that, and that should set up for us our first sandbox tokens. I shall just click into there, and this information we'll need in a minute to access the SDK. So I just need to set up the permissions on that. So if you edit the permissions, we click make payments and save that. That's all ready to go and we should accept payments on the API. So if I now go to the tools section, we can download the SDKs or SDK for iOS. So click on that to download. And now I will head over to Xcode to create a very simple iOS app. So click next and I'll call it demo duo pay app. Click next and create. So if I just drop just quickly drop a button onto the screen. Call that pay now. Pay now. And a description of what we're buying. So I will uh, there we have a very, very basic app, and we'll obviously just Create an action. For that, create an action method for that and call it pay now action. And now we're ready to integrate the Judo SDK. So I'll just go to downloads and we will grab, this is what the SDK looks like. It's got the phone gap called over plugin and the example app, but the um, SDK is in the framework library. So we just grab that, drop it over to the frameworks. gets created like in there. So we need to uh, add some references to some uh, dependent libraries. So I'll just go to build, build phases, link the binaries, and we need to add in three other libraries there. Support core. And security. And also configure system configuration. Oops. System configuration. 
Uh, so now we're ready to start coding with Judo Pay SDK. So we just need to import it first of all into the app starts. And in our startup, we can set an option to point us at the sandbox so that we can do all test transactions and not touch production. Um, and now if we go into the view controller and we can also need to also import it into there. of code to make a simple payment of £8.50 to our judo ID which we need to go back to our dashboard for which is in here we can grab it out of there and put it in there like that and we need to get the token in secret as well so I will just copy that across as well. And then you can add a payment reference, Oops. anything you like, a unique reference for this payment and also a reference for your customer, unique, unique reference for whoever for the customer that's making the payment. And then we just need to create success or failure blocks. So I will just create that and I'll just log it to the console for now. And also in the failure block, we can log there. And then we start up. Hopefully we should uh, have our app pop up any second and we click on the pay now and the SDK kicks in or the UI part of the SDK kicks in to ask for credit card details so back on the dashboard there are some and go to tools there are some credit card details that you can use and I'll just be using the top one to demonstrate and so let's show you how that looks as we enter it so it automatically recognizes the card type as you type in and we just type in all of that detail and click submit and it sends off I'll just go back to Exco quickly and you can see in the you can see in the console that the receipt has been returned as a JSON document and you can use all that information to create your receipt um, and that's pretty much how to integrate JunaPay into a, a quick and simple app. Okay so that was how to implement the JunaPay SDK for iOS into a very simple app in under 10 minutes. If you want any more information please go to judopay.com and contact us through there.